All right. For the monthly edition. <laughs> of, for, for the yearly edition. For the yearly edition. Of whatever the show is called. Uh, Devil's Advocate. <laughs> For years, Drake has been labeled a wave rider. From hopping on Versace by the Migos to I Love Makona's Tuesday. No question that if he thinks your song is hot, he's going to hop on it. I agree. We're good right now? We're we're still good, right? I agree. I was showing Damien the new Drake remix the other day. I don't even remember the kid's name. but uh, It's Brick Boy or Block Boy. Block Boy, that's what it is. No, it might be Brick Boy. (laughs) Nah, it's Block Boy. OG or O-something Block Boy. But uh, I was showing him the song, and he was like, Oh my God! Is Drake wave writing again? I said it just like just that. like that. I looked at him and said, "Is it really wave writing though?" It is wave writing. He immediately started hitting me with song after song, point after point. I stopped him and said, "New Devil's Advocate." <laughs> I'm not talking to you until a video camera's on. So, a video camera is now on. I'm on the side of not calling it Drake, or I'm not calling it wave writing. I'm on the side of. It's not wave riding, and you're on the side of that it's definitely wave riding, correct? Yeah. Cool. Sweet, bro. So my first point is no one owns a particular sound. If you if your sound uh if you like a sound, you're allowed to use it. If you like a song and you ask an artist to use it, it's called a remix. It's not a wave ride. That's true. That's it. I agree. All right, well, the video's over. <laughs> All right, no, cool. that's not. That's not. How's that wave writing anytime a bigger artist works with a uh, no name artist? Why is that wave writing? My whole, okay. Can we just like set the record straight for the. Okay. First and foremost, I'm a huge Drake fan. Yup. Even though he doesn't think I am, but I am. I love Drake. Um, but I still think it's wave writing only because if it wasn't. Okay, there's artists like. For instance, Cardi B gets on Bruno Mars' song because mm-hmm. it's a popular song and mm-hmm. she gets on it. And that's probably like the record label pushing more towards that because who know who's to say they would have even met if it wasn't for the record label. Mm-hmm. But like I said, if it's artists like Drake getting on artists that like nobody has even heard and then they become popping. And my whole thing was that that in that case, he's kind of just using it. You know what I'm saying? Drake. So you're thinking Drake is using him. Drake is taking somebody that nobody knows. He's taking and their them. little fan base. Their and not saying, base. not saying that Drake doesn't already have those fans, but it's his way to stay relevant. You know what I'm saying? Does he really need... You know he was the highest streamed artist last year. Does he really need to be relevant? Okay, more relevant? but how is he going to stay relevant? Because he keeps doing these By things. By making more just new there's songs. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just stating what it is. I would see <laughs> if it was... If every rollout started with... I'm gonna go hop on the no name person song, and everything start or his first single started with I'm gonna go hop on the no name person song. Then I'm with you. Okay. But this is just something he does randomly. The last one I think was McConan. That was five years ago. No. What was the last one? What was the last one? I can't remember one. I can't remember one. And that, yeah, I can't put you on the spot. That's kind of whack. Yeah, I, but I, I, yeah, yeah, I can't put you on the spot because there probably is up. one in, in between there. But a no, like a complete no of, name. It's not okay. I I would say it is right. That are right. no names. No. I don't. I don't think are so. Are very, very not very known at all. Okay. And like I said, it's um, like if a song's hot, I feel like he's just like one of the first people to jump on it. But to be honest, like I said, it's nothing wrong with it because if I was Drake, and if I was as big as he is, I would do anything to kind of stay relevant. Anyway. It's not trying to stay relevant. It is though. How it how is. is it trying to stay? Really if you're already is. the most relevant. How are you trying because to how stay, is he gonna stay relevant? By making new songs by himself. Okay, so you're telling me that if Drake stayed with his sound that he had in 2011, that he would still be the Drake You just went today? somewhere else. No, I'm saying because, okay, that was Drake. That was the true Drake that everybody had You talked to him? Came you know, to Aubrey? known and love. Known and love. Everybody came to know and love that Drake 2011, right? That was like when he was really on a come up right after So Far Gone and when he was, uh, mm-hmm. what was that? Fucking his first album. Didn't take thank care, me, or thank me later. Thank me later, take care. Care. So if he stayed making that same music that everybody came to know and love, that he would be the Drake he is today? No, no because he wouldn't have made the turn up music. He wouldn't have made, if you're reading this, it's too late or whatever it was. So those are all the songs. That's what I'm saying. That's like he obviously moved with the times. He changed the style and everything. Like but everyone this, does. Yes, I agree with you. But there's songs that he is wave writing, and that is not argue that you can't argue with that that it's he like, is wave writing. That's exactly why the video is <laughs> being made. Actually, <laughs> that's exactly why the video is being. It's not wave wave writing. Like 
What, it, okay. what, what is your definition no, 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 of wave no, no, no. writing? There is no know. such thing as what I'm trying to tell you. There's no hip-hop such thing as wave writing? Right. My next point. Okay. Hip-hop is built off of stealing. It's hypocritical to pick and choose what is okay or not based on if we like the song or the artist at the time. Stealing a drum pattern is okay. Mm. We just call it sampling. Mm. But using a similar cadence as someone is wave writing. Mm. Like it doesn't, you can't just pick and choose like, oh, this is this is okay. This type of stealing is cool. But mm. this is wave writing. You're dick writing. Because yada, he's yada, taking yada. Like his, his style of rapping. Like his, yeah, cause, because he heard of somebody's style of rapping mm. and and decided to use it. He did the same thing with the Migos. It's not a wave ride. It's not a, a wave ride. It's like, oh, oh shit, I heard something cool. Just like when you, oh, I heard a kick pattern that was really cool, or I heard a, mm-hmm. kick, uh, a drum that was really cool, and I'm taking that shit. Okay. It's all built off of stealing. So it's either all stealing, or it's, or none I of it's stealing. I think Drake is just under much more scrutiny because he is obviously is yeah, like, he's a bigger artist. Yeah, like if it was, for instance, like some other like up and coming artist who was doing the exact same shit, no one would give a fuck. Exactly. But it's like since it's Drake, it's like okay, he's wave riding. But like I said, I still think in a way it kind of is wave riding because if there was any definition, if there was any definition at all to what wave riding wave riding is, I think Drake would fit that perfect definition. So wave like, riding. Perfect. So what is wave? Yeah, no, define what wave riding is to you then. So what 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 is wave riding exactly? I mean, in a way, it's just. Like I said, just moving with the times, but just like constantly moving with the times, which isn't bad. Like I said before, it's not bad. It's just that's what it is. It's moving with the times. That's all it is. I don't think those two are even in the same world. Moving Moving with the times is great. Wave riding is stealing. Mm. So moving with the times is the progression from thank me later to uh, not nothing was the same or whatever. That's that's moving with times. Not really, because I mean, because when he had those worst, what song sounds like worst behavior on thank me later? No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But it, what song sounds like worst behavior before worst behavior though? Nothing. Exactly. That's yeah. why. That's why I think moving with that was that was moving with the times. Okay. Like, he had his own style. He was doing it his own way. But when you do a song like Migos and deliberately, you know, it is a remix or whatever. But you yeah. use the same exact style. Like, yeah. And then you kind of run with that after like for the following like songs all of that hip-hop. he's making. Like all of hip hop did. Like I think. Everyone that sounds like is Migos wave right riding. Now. Everyone sounds like Migos right I, now. I I don't disagree with you, which kind of sucks. Yeah, everything sounds like Migos. So I don't even under. I just you, you can't call one thing stealing and then go to go to something else and call and it's either all stealing or it's not stealing. I just don't because everything's still. We stole from stealing like wave right. You see something wave riding? Okay, the definition of wave riding is you see something hot and I'm hopping on that. Mm-hmm. And just 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 because it's hot, not that I can do it well. It's just because it's hot. He did it well. He's done it well that's multiple ex- times. When that's you, you can... exactly what he's doing, though. How do you know? You you make all these like assumptions, like mm. oh well, the, the label put these two together. Like you sound no, like no, Joe no, Bud. No, no, I'm not. Like, no, 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 no. Don't... <laughs> The label put Bruno and Cardi together. Who would have known if they would have ever met? Like what are you? We don't I'm know these who's people. Who's to say exactly? I'm we not, don't I'm know not these assuming. people. I'm just saying that like a lot of the times I feel like that's what they do. And I'm like I said, I'm okay. the last person to say that, but it would make sense. Like for a fucking artist, like. When they used to do like all these pop and hip hop artists, like all these collabs, like random shits, like you really think they like, you know? Okay. Like they yeah, just actually yeah. met. Okay. You made just, it sound like you were on the phone with Cardi the other day. No, nah, not at all. <laughs> I just don't understand what. I'll never be on the I, phone I, with Cardi. I think that shit is whack to like discredit an artist call way writing because they, oh, I heard a style. I'm going to do that style. I'm going to do that style too. If he did a whole album, if he did multiple albums, like, oh, yo, this is my new style I came up with. Yo, I was just, it was me and 40 in the studio and we just did this shit. That's whack. But when 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 homage is paid and when you bring somebody up, first of all, that kid is from Memphis. Uh-huh. His dad is from Memphis. That's probably how that happened. It's uh-huh. all, that's, I'm guessing. It's probably, so it wasn't just random. Um, the McConan even shit. Like one, one thing you said, I think, uh, you said, oh, he's going to get this kid, sign him, and drop him just like McConan. No, I said he wasn't going to sign him. I don't think he's going to Okay, well, you said he was going to drop him just like because, he dropped McConan. I remember you saying that. Well, I said it. I don't... I think he... It seems like he's just using it. He's using him like I, he used McConan. Oh, no, yeah. And then exactly. he's going to drop him. I remember you saying he's going to drop him. That was the, exactly. my key... That's my key point. Exactly. It is but your... The but, thing is, I think... Um, I think it's like... Like like trading a player. This is like a perfect example because of like all the trades and shit. But like trading a player, if they don't produce, then you cut him. That's like... Mm-hmm. That's it. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. But I don't think he's going to do that with whatever. I don't even know if he signed this kid or not. Yeah, I don't even know if he like, signed this kid or not. I don't think he's going to do that. But it's just, yeah, that's all I was going to say. It's your job to put yourself on once you get the look. Like, if let's say Drake is wave writing and he's using you. Let's just, let's, let's assume all this stuff. Use him back. I don't understand. Like <laughs> he has the he has the name. I'm using him. Oh, I'm going on every radio station. Yeah, I'm the kid from the Drake song. I'm the kid from the Drake song. And I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna use him too. I don't 
it just sucks if like he don't owe you shit if that's like the only i guess then it is up to you like it is your responsibility to do more than just that one song but, yeah like, if you have to make another only, song like your one only hot song like it's not gonna take you very far yeah here's some people that drake hopped on early that they're doing just fine. The weekend, party next door, Magic Jordan, the Migos, Future, Fetty Wap, all did fine. All had other hits after. So it's just like I just don't. And then I love McConan's. I think he's the only one that was just like was just done. Or it was going to a different conversation. But do you think Magic Jordan's gonna get bigger than they are? No. As well as no. Division or Party Next Door. I don't like Division, but no. Do you think Party Next Door will leave the label? I don't know. You're going to a whole bunch of. <laughs> telling you man it's like it's just like sports it's crazy i don't know who yeah i don't but no uh magic jordan i don't think it's gonna get i wonder why though i don't know either yeah it doesn't make any sense because every the songs are there the hits are there i think it sounds different i don't know why like when i went to that that show in san diego i mean i guess they're still kind of new like what they're on like two years three albums or something like that three albums. yeah i don't two albums, like mm-hmm I don't feel like people connect with uh, Magic Jordan personally. I think they connect with the music. Mm -hmm. And I think in today's age, you have to connect with the person and then you connect with the music. I feel like when I heard So Far Gone, I feel like I knew Drake. Mm -hmm. When I heard J. Cole's Friday Night Lights, I have to feel like I knew J. Cole. I don't feel like I know Magic Jordan from listening to music. Mm -hmm. It's just great music. So I listen to it for two weeks and then I'm done. What's the the final... uh, I don't know, are we agreeing? Is there there such thing as wave riding? No, there's no such thing as wave riding. um, the moving with the times is it the moving same? with the times is staying within yourself and, and keeping the going okay wave, wave writing to me you you have to take somebody's like whole style mm-hmm. and then just keep doing their whole style not doing one song and like hey i'm gonna use this flow that this guy's using mm-hmm. for a song and then i'm gonna go back to doing what i do god's plan don't sound like that kid and what's his, uh, what's I don't the other song what the song Dip- sounds like diplomatic. i don't i can't even remember how the song it's sounds it's tight it's tight like we should why don't we have it playing right now yeah right <laughs> And then Diplomatic Community doesn't sound like that kid. So it, I just don't. One song is just not enough for me to be calling. Mm. So, okay. Wave writing does exist. I just, I need more than a song. I need more than three songs. That's all I wanted to know. Wave writing exists. But yeah, it's just, this ain't wave writing. I just don't think it is. I don't even, I can't even think of an example of wave writing, to be honest. So artists that I really <laughs> believe has done that. There's got to be one time that you could think of. Like complete wave I don't. Just complete wave Complete? Writing. Like, no. Who? I don't know. I mean, if okay. it exists, what would... Okay, I'm, what say, would be I'm the, saying the definition exists. What would be The definition perfect, of a unicorn exists, too. What would too, be the perfect example? It's not around. What would be the perfect example of wave riding? There is no example. It's a unicorn. It's not real. But the concept it's is real. A, if it's... <laughs> now I'm trying to mind fuck you. <laughs> it's the Matrix. Oh, my God. This video is officially over. <laughs> You try to take this video everywhere. This shit is officially over. You, you got other things you want to talk about, man? You just try to take that conversation three places. No, because I was trying to figure out exactly why that is. Because we got into something different, but we uh, wanted to figure out why they aren't bigger than they are. Because, like, this is just regular conversation. But, like, other artists.